Yes. Well, all right. <sighs> it's so hot in here, guys. <laughs> Our air conditioning is broke, and I'm sweating. So. <sighs> <laughs> PA, get over here. <laughs> Powder. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> no. <Nope. Okay. laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Host Away. I'm Mark, that's Sam, and we, if you haven't, um, if you're new to HOSA, sorry about this. <laughs> this is the best we have. And this is a really good introduction to us, because this is what our life is like these days. And I would imagine yours too. Anyway. We are coming up on a, an exciting new year for HOSA. This is going to be different. We have some updates to our competitive events that we want to share. Uh, we have some goals that we want to share with you. There are some trainings that National HOSA is going to be providing that we want to send, give links to as well. So if you're a local advisor and you would like some local advisor training on HOSA, um, how to be a better advisor, how to connect with your students um, regarding HOSA stuff, that's called TALL, and TALL stands for, I don't remember, <laughs> Training for Advisors at the Local Level, T-A-L-L, -L, Training for Advisors at the Local Level. There you go. Did I do that right? I can't remember. We'll have more details for you inside the Synapse regarding TALL. Please make sure to check that out if you would like some training. So we shared this the last time in our The Host Away with Mark and Sam, but we also want to share again this year's... Regional Leadership Conference is virtual. They're all virtual. They all take place on December 19th. There will be a schedule that comes oh, out. Right. Um, and then the regions? Are new. Uh, <clears throat> just take it away. Come on, girl. You're doing great. Yeah. I'm just in the mood. I know. I'll talk more about these. I have these. Oh, great. Okay. And again, the regions this year are all split up completely differently than they have been in the past because they're not uh, glued geographically to each other. So we changed it. Um, how did we come up with those? Completely random. Basically. 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 But what we tried to do is make every region about the same size. It was about 840 people. This is just for the virtual conference. This is not a new permanent uh, regional breakdown. Right. This is not permanent. This is only for virtual. It's more fair the way, like the new way, because for instance, if you looked at region eight last year, there's over a thousand participants in that region, but then you go to like the UP or region six and there's maybe 300 to 400. Correct. So this is just evenly distributing the state of Michigan by regions. And again, it doesn't matter because it's virtual. So another update we have for you is... National HOSA came out with some competitive event updates for 2020-21. Uh, there will be probably a lot more that are coming out, but these are the more major ones. The medical reading books for post-secondary, secondary, and middle school are out now. So if you already know that you're going to be doing that event, it's summer, so start, start reading. reading. Yeah. Can we show them the books right now? No. Sure. So in secondary we have... Identify Leadership. Like, these are long titles. Well, I think that maybe we could just flash them. Oh, okay. They are, boom. They yeah. are one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> well, maybe there could be a voiceover as, like, it'll be the image of the book and you're just reading it. Or is it too long to read? They're really long. Because you won't be on it, it'll just be... They're literally like... Compassionomics, the revolutionary scientific evidence that caring makes a difference by Anthony Mazzarelli and Stephen Trezal. <laughs> okay. Never mind. And also we will link this in the synapse and it will also be posted on our website. So yeah. you can read through all of these. Another thing is there's a new test available 
and it's called Health Informatics. Informatics? Informatics. Informatics. What's that? Don't know. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to hear some topics? I'd love to. These are always my favorite part. National Hosa does an incredible job of picking topics, and this year they did not disappoint. They're some of my favorites. So, public health. Reducing health disparities, social determinants of health can help. Incredibly relevant. Research persuasive writing and speaking. Technology use. Does it make us more or less connected? <clears throat> Prepared speaking and speaking skills is always the national um, theme for the year, and that is unlock your potential. It should be. I was thinking about this recently, and I almost want to change it this year just specifically for Michigan HOSA. It should be virtually awesome. <laughs> the extemporaneous health poster is now... Middle school. It's only for middle school. Only for middle school. Replacing it in the secondary and post-secondary division is research poster presentation. And this is basically where you will pose a research question around a given health topic and develop a research poster showcasing your findings. They will develop the research paper, but in addition, we'll have an added presentation component. So, more to come on that. Biomedical debate. This is a great topic. Fantastic. Um, designer babies. Parents should be allowed to genetically engineer their offspring. Right. <clears throat> you don't know this, but my parents did. Man, did they mess up. <laughs> no, I came out and they were like, oh, we gotta do a better job next time. <laughs> My mom always says that she gave birth to an eight pound nose. <laughs> oh my God. That's what she says about me. She cried in the hospital. Oh, so it's true. My mom was cried when I was born because I was super hairy, black hair, and I had a giant nose. My, my mom was crying about how ugly I was. And so she's talking to one of my her siblings on the phone, who then called another sibling and was like, you gotta better go up to the hospital and help with Mary because, Mary's my mom, because she's like, she's really upset about her child. And, and then that person goes up to the hospital and sees me and she's like, no, she's not sad, she's just right. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, what else? Any other? Public service announcement. The future of healthcare, how HOSA is making a difference. Last but not least, HOSA-ball. This is a fun one. This Significant changes have been made to round two. Yeah. Teams? If, FYI, round one is just the written test. Yes. Okay, that's the placer. That's how you get seated is the written test. Yes. Round two is when you actually start the buzzer rounds. Right. So what's different about the buzzer rounds? Teams will be required to have four members. The first eight minutes of the buzzer rounds will be head-to-head -head matchups between team members. So like A versus A, B versus B, etc. During the last two minutes of the buzzer rounds, questions can be answered by any team member. Isn't that wild? That's cool. It like evens out participation, right? So you just be, like let's say you have a brilliant person on your team right. and the rest of you are not so much. There are some teams that come to mind here that they always have a ringer. Like there's just right. one all-star and the rest can be doofuses and they just <laughs> go super far because they have this one strong person. That is no longer the case. Right. You cannot just carry along your Everyone friends. Everyone is participating in this and right. sharing the weight. As far as the fall goes, we have professional... Uh, just like to reiterate one more time for our fall conferences, we're not meeting in person. Sorry about that. I would love to do that. Um, it will be an interesting year. We'll meet together again soon at some future year, but not this one. We are developing professional development videos, and this series is called Leadership the, the Hosa Host Way. Original, right? Cute. <laughs> yeah, so what are we going to do? We okay. already have some topics. We do. Um, so some of them are the art of... Introducing yourself. Conversation. Listening. Dining etiquette. Professional attire. Ooh, res building your resume. Interviewing. Conflict resolution. Running a meeting. Social media branding. Building a website. Becoming an entrepreneur. I don't know if we're going to do that one or not. I just kind of personally like it. Time management. Time management. <laughs> 
Constructing a plan, achieving a goal. Right. Mental fitness. Physical fitness. Building a network. Working a room. Tips for good sleep. Friendship. Visualization. Graphic design. Compelling writing. Public speaking. Being funny. We got that nailed down. <laughs> <laughs> We're so funny. Just ask us. Leading others. The art of motivation. Budgeting. The art of maintaining personal finance. Teamwork. How about this one? This is a creative one. The art of saying no. No. <laughs> <laughs> the art of negotiating. The art of reading body language. I love that one, by the way. That's a good one. Yeah. Dependability. And the art of integrity and the why that one is on there, which kind of encompasses a lot of things, is that employers, when they're doing interviews, are actually looking for... Um, they're trying to size up your integrity because they want employees with high integrity. So how exactly can you convey that to other people? Now, we are not experts in all of these fields. Most of them. <laughs> Just kidding. So what we're probably going to do is interview some people, put together some videos, piece some things in. It will be scripted, narrated over. It's going to be... Not this. Animated. Yeah, it'll be different than this. Um, but anyway, that's coming your way. Yeah, we're excited about that one. And then the last thing that I want to share with you guys is that because HOSA is not glued to traveling anywhere this year, everybody gets to be a part of it. And so I'm super excited that there are no barriers to joining HOSA. And so everyone can do it. So we are going to set some goals. And last year we were right around 7,500 members. I want to do a whopping 8,000 members, um, which that's only a couple people per chapter more than what we had last year. So if everyone added basically five members to your chapter from what you had last year, we will reach the goal of 8,000 members. And again, going to the regional leadership conferences, there, it's not a, shouldn't be prohibited in any way. Um, every, Other than if you are already have something December 19th. But even then, wait and see what the schedule is going to be because your event could be at 9 in the morning and then you have the rest of the day. Right, so. right. There will be a small pocket of time that you actually compete. On December 19th, you don't actually go anywhere. Right. So we had last year, how many members did we have compete last year at regionals? 6,551. Right. And so this year we would love to double, double that. We don't want a membership of 8,000, but we want to have 13,000 people compete. Math. We want to add a thousand people to that. So if we had 7,500 people compete at regionals, that's our goal yeah. this year. So our goal is 8,000 membership, 7,500 competing at regionals. So. <laughs> okay. It's time for lunch. What are you going to have today? Sandwich? Mm, I hadn't even thought about it yet. And that's the host away. See you next week. Alright. Alright, we might have to do this a couple times though. Because I'm not sure how this is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this should be a really good video today. Can you turn the camera? <laughs> because Sam is fired up, you know. <laughs> This is going to be great. We're just going to leave it on, too, and we're going to have a little vent session. Yeah. If anyone can give me a great name to name our next child, yeah. you'll win my love. <laughs> just this right here, this little spot, I feel like I miss shaving. Because you got to shave down and you got to shave up, and sometimes you just miss it. Yeah. But the rest of it's like soft as a baby's butt. <laughs> <laughs> so Hazel um, got her, she had her cast off yesterday. Oh. Well, I didn't even notice. No, no, no. Like, she took it off. The, the, oh, the, her brace. Her brace cap. Yeah. yeah. And she had a, in her skin, number one, it's like untouched by sun. So it's like <laughs> sure. super light. Um, but also, it's so soft. Like, even the palm of her hand right here. Oh. And I was like, man, that. I said, in, like in my head, I'm thinking, that's soft as a baby's butt. And uh, I'm like, that's soft as your butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so he and Hazel were like, <laughs> when's the last time you touched my bike? She's 12, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine. It stopped as my butt. <laughs> they weren't pleased with that one either. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Call me out. So I put that in there, English muffin, toasting it up. And then, um, seriously, did something fall on my neck? Is that a ghost? <laughs> this has gone on long enough. <clears throat> this video is 20 <laughs> minutes long. Sorry about that. I bet it's about 30 at this point. <laughs>